On the big screen, Shuri is avenging a certain character's death in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but in real life, Letitia Wright now has it out for The Hollywood Reporter. On Sunday, the leading publication posted an article titled How Personal Baggage Will Impact Oscar Chances. Three acting contenders, Will Smith, Brad Pitt, and Letitia Wright, bring varying degrees of personal controversy to the campaign trail. So of course it went into how Will assaulted Chris at the Oscars this year, and he has emancipation coming next month. Brad was accused by ex-wife Angelina Jolie of assaulting her and two of their children back in 2016. He's got Babylon coming out in December as well. And Letitia, she shared an anti-vax conspiracy video back in December 2020 and reportedly shared her anti-vax views on set of the sequel as well. The article also mentions people like Woody Allen, Roman Polanski, and Casey Affleck. Well, Letitia is not going to stand for being grouped in with them. So she wrote on her Instagram story, I had to unblock Hollywood Reporter just to post this. Scott Feinberg and all at this publication. You're all incredibly disrespectful. How dare you? You mentioned my name alongside men who have been accused of abuse and sexual misconduct. This is vile behavior. At this point, a personal vendetta towards me. I've done nothing wrong, but respectfully refuse to do interviews with this publication. Stop your nonsense. I apologized two years ago. Remain silent on the topic. You lied and said I continued talking about it with my cast and crew on my set. This was not true. Ask my producer and director. The film is successful. Your agenda towards me is now even more clear. I won't remain silent. Stop your disgusting behavior. And then she went on at Scott Feinberg. This personal agenda with your friends at Hollywood Reporter is disgusting. I remained silent as the world told me to kill myself two years ago for a video I posted and apologized for. I kept my head down and focused on my craft. And now I'm at the other side of it. Here you are as a so-called journalist we are meant to trust, putting my name in this nasty article for what? You lack substance. You clearly have nothing to report. The movie is beautiful, impactful, and breaking box office. I worked my ass off with my cast and crew to dedicate it to my brother. How dare you? Did my performance rattle you that much? It was that excellent, huh? I'm still here, still making impact, still creating projects that touch people's hearts. And it's not going to stop. Get a life, like for real. The article is still up, which I'm a bit surprised by. Yeah, the Hollywood Reporter has not taken this down. And in a twist, <laughs> Will Smith fans are upset that he's being grouped in with Brad Pitt. I mean, we're splitting hairs here now, people. I mean, Will assaulted Chris. Brad is accused of assaulting Angelina and his children. Absolutely, you could say that it's you know worse to assault a female and children, absolutely. But I mean, they both assaulted someone. So I mean, in the case of this, yeah, it works. And the article is not about equating their crimes. It's about the fact that they each have personal baggage. It doesn't make all their, you know, their misdemeanors the same. So, I don't know if I really agree with Letitia. I get her point. Look, a lot of people died from COVID. And you could say that people that were spreading anti-vax information contributed to the death toll. I mean, you can make that connection. I'm not going to say directly Letitia is responsible for that guy dying. No, of course not. But, I mean, she doesn't come out of this with clean hands. And, yeah, she has baggage. And the rest of the guys have baggage, too. So, I don't... I get her point, but... It's not that Hollywood Reporter was making all their crimes equal. Yeah, what are your thoughts?